Hey, thank you guys for checking this out. So we're trying to remove um, Windows core apps that were issued uh, with Windows 10. Uh, stuff like Groove Music, uh, the Get Skype, the Get Office, uh, the Movies and TV app, um, stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm not going to voice my opinion one way or another or another. I'm just going to show you guys how to get rid of this stuff. So I'll tell you, if you go and look online, a lot of people are directing you... Uh, to PowerShell, uh, and then you have to run it as the administrator, and then they're giving you this command to get app uh, X package, uh, say Skype app, um, remove app X package. What this is doing is this is unloading it from your visibility, um, and that's on your bars and stuff. So, with that said, let me go in um, and show you guys kind of what's what's going on. So, I'll give you a quick tutorial on, on Cortana just really quick um, I wanted to eliminate all internet searching uh, along with my core searching because I'm not trying to confuse what's in my computer and what's not in my computer it's like the dumbest thing ever it's like if I want to search I'll just search in um, Internet Explorer um, if I want Cortana you know to be searching in uh, Microsoft Edge or in whatever browser source I'm using then have Cortana out there in the browser don't have Cortana search no 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 okay <laughs> so you can go ahead and you can shut off suggestions here and if you scroll down in your settings search online and include uh, web results you can turn off your web results so that was a nice thing when I figured out how to do that um, so you'll go ahead and type in PowerShell. If PowerShell automatically opens, go ahead and close it out. Um, you don't want to press enter after PowerShell. You just want to come up to the actual icon here in your search and click run as administrator. Um, you might get a prompt at that point. Uh, when my blue box opens up for PowerShell, uh, I want to see C Drive Windows System 32. If I wasn't running it as an administrator, I would see C Drive Users um, and my name's Larry, so it would be C users Larry. Um, so once you're in and you see the system 32, uh, and you know you're controlling all your uh, your accounts and everything, at that point, um, if I was to go ahead and type in this code that I'm seeing all over the internet for uninstall, it's it's not an uninstall; it's just to hide. Um, which I'm really disappointed in, in you know a company, you know rewording things in such a way that uh, people aren't catching on to what's really going on. So when you go ahead and type that in, it will unload it um, from all your search bars and such. Um, so like if I come down here now, Skype is gone. Um, let's do another one for you. So I have Office still up here. I've unloaded a lot. Um, but I was still mid-process and I wanted to show you at least this one. So, when I go ahead and type in this second command, this is going to give you a list of all the apps that Windows is pre-provisioning uh, that are still currently in your system. And if you look halfway through, Microsoft.Skype app 3.2.1.0. It's uh, you know it's disappointing that, that you know we're at this stage where we're being forced they're trying to force things upon us but we don't have control of their product until we buy it. So um, the way to, to officially uninstall this stuff um, is this command down here. Um, you will not need to do the first command. You can go directly to the second command, get your list, uh, and then start removing. Um, so you'll go into PowerShell, you'll run it as admin, you'll make sure that you see the system32, and then you'll go ahead and you'll get your list, um, and then you'll type in this command right here. Um, I'll also have all this stuff in the description, and I'll have it all in the exact order you're seeing it here, so it's not you know, extra confusing or anything crazy, because there's always a step that people are leaving out, and I'm going to show you the step that Windows is leaving out and making it more difficult on you right now. So this command code, um, if you notice here at the end we've got package with the semicolon uh, butted up right to the name. If you notice up here, the semicolon is spaced uh, out. 
Microsoft has never spaced anything in their entire life. Everything is like this with dots and underscores and overscores and capitals and lowercase. And all of a sudden we've got this space that literally all it's doing is throwing a monkey wrench in the, in the, in the cut and copy and paste situation. So if you go ahead and you take my code, if you notice the colon is butted right up to package name. And you also want to make sure that the M in Microsoft is also butted right up to it. When you go ahead and you solve that issue, you're on your way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead right now um, and pull this Skype app. So when I right click, it'll remove it. I'll right click down in the location. It's a great right click, copy and paste uh, uh, thing they have going on in this blue box. So if you notice, I've got the E for, for package name butted right up. Um, and then you have the M butted right up. Once everything's butted up properly, you can go ahead. It'll open up the deployment image surfacing and management tool, and it'll say operation completed successfully. Uh, I love when other people say, oh, yeah, you're, you're going to see an error, but don't worry about the error, and just go ahead and restart your computer. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm so done. And these are on official Microsoft sites. I'm, I'm done. So um, that's it. Now, if I was to go ahead and come back in, um, and get the pre-provisioned uh, list. Go ahead, press enter. Thank you guys for being patient and being a little redundant, but I just want to show you. Check it out. No Skype in my computer anymore. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helps you. Good luck.